Let me read uh, from 1 John 3. 1 John 3, verse 6 says this. See, this is such good news. See, when he puts his spirit in you, he empowers you to get rid of all the sin that was in your life. In fact, he says this. No one who abides in him keeps on sinning. Man, that's good news. If I abide in God, I won't keep on sinning? Thank you. No one who keeps on sinning has either seen him or known him. Little children, let no one deceive you. Whoever practices righteousness is righteous as he is righteous. Whoever makes a practice of sinning is of the devil. For the devil has been sinning from the beginning. The reason the Son of God appeared was to destroy the works of the devil. No one born of God makes a practice of sinning. For God's seed abides in him and he cannot keep on sinning because he's been born of God. Man. That is such great news that God wants his seed to abide in you. And when that happens, you can't keep on sinning because his seed abides in you. In fact, he says, if you keep sinning, then that just shows you that his seed doesn't abide in you. If you can just keep on sinning and not feel anything, not repent, he says, whoever, he goes, man, don't let anyone deceive you. Whoever practices righteousness is righteous as he is righteous. And whoever makes a practice of sinning is of the devil. For the devil has been sinning. This is, I know some of you guys are hearing this, maybe for the first time, because you're not in his word. But, and some of you guys are going, what are you, what are you, what are you saying? Are you saying that if I'm in ongoing sin right now, that I'm of the devil? No, I'm not saying that. John is. <laughs> and we have to do something because this is in the Bible. And it's this, this idea is this is how you can tell. He says when his seed is in you, this is why it's such great news, is today you can come before that terrifying judge. He wants to forgive you and he wants to put his spirit in you so that you'll stop sinning. Man, you guys. I'm telling you, something happened in my life when his seed came into me, when his, when his spirit came into me, where the things I used to do by nature, once I start going that way, it's like, ah, uh, I can't do this. It tempts me, but it's like, ah, uh, I can't stay in that. He says, when you have the seed of God abiding in you, he just comes out. That's why he goes on all through 1 John going, that's why if, 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 you're, if you see someone in need and, and you have the means to help them and you can just walk on, he goes, how could his seed be in you? How could the love of God be in you? So then you start loving the poor. You don't even try. It's almost like it's just, it happens because it's in your DNA. His seed is implanted in you. Man, I can't go back to my sin. I can't walk away from Jesus. Why? Because I'm such a great guy? No, because his spirit's in me. This is such great news.